Um, we have a little Bella here uh, for dental procedure, and I have my laryngoscope here uh, ready for placement. First, we want to measure the laryngoscope as we do not want to go into the stomach. That would be too far. Uh, this is only supposed to be placed into the esoph I'm sorry, into the esophagus, the esophageal stethoscope. So first, we're going to do what we're going to do is we're going to measure. If you can see from here. The distal end or this portion is going to be measured from about the shoulder blades to the snout. And that's about as far as you want to go in. So I'll show you, I'll bring this closer. So about that's as far as I'm going to go into the esophagus to make, make this measurement. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the mouth, I'm going to lower the tongue and because the trachea tube is in place, there is no way that I'll be able to uh, get this into the trachea. So this is actually going to go over into the esophagus. The esophagus sits just on top of the trachea and the stomach actually gears towards the uh, left uh, direction. So we're gonna go ahead and do the placement. First I'll get a little bit of lube. I'm going to lubricate the distal end of the uh, esophageal stethoscope. Just a little bit. I'm going to place the laryngoscope just over the trach tube and lower the trach tube and that should show me where the esophagus is. And we're going ahead and we're placing in. I have my remembered mark here and we're going to stop right about there. Remove the laryngoscope. Then we can lower the head. Drop that down. And we'll take a listen. I can hear the heart rate and I can hear the pet's respirations. We're about 160, 150, 160. respirations. And to verify placement, I'm going to go ahead and hand this over to the doctor so he can verify that there is a heart rate and respiration. Yes, there is. All right, thank you. And we're going to go ahead and slowly remove this from the esophagus. And that's esophageal stethoscope placement. 